Hello. Good morning. Thank you so much, Ate Jen. I, I just couldn't contain it. Ano ba yan? Ito na naman tayo. Ito na naman po ako. Actually, I promised myself not to be in tears today. I hope I could. You know, because during the, the praise and worship pa lang, grabe si Lord. Akala ko, tapos na kami nag-usap nung pinrepare ko tong preaching na to. But in, in the prayer and, I mean, in the praise and worship earlier, you know, God really continues to speak, ano. And parang, oo oh, nga, no. This really has something to do with with what we are learning about today. Ewan ko kung sinadya ni Pastor Dan na dapat ako ang mag-preach ng topic na to. But I thank uh, Pastor Dan, no? And uh, to everyone behind the choosing of me to deliver this very special topic. I call it special kasi personally, among all talks siguro I've delivered, kahit pa sa secular world, parang this really hits differently. And... I know, bago pa man kayo ibe-bless ni Lord, na-bless ulit ako, binalik ako ng Panginoon from season to season, and I know you too. So, anong mang age po kayo ngayong araw na to, anong mang sitwasyon nyo sa buhay, know that God has something special for each of you because you and me are God's special people, alright? <laughs> Iba talaga tong araw na to. This really is very special. And so, I should start. And since there are two chapters po ng pag-aaralan natin ngayon, I'd like to uh, bring you first to a particular part of First Samuel, chapter 1 to 2. But we will just deal first on the reading ng First Samuel, chapter 1, verses 10 to 20. So, while Ate Jen is preparing, alright. So, nakikita po ninyo lahat sa screens, no? In bitterness of soul, Hannah wept much and prayed to the Lord. Chapter, I, verse 11. And she made a vow saying, O Lord Almighty, if you will only look upon your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life. And no razor will ever be used on his head. And she kept on praying to the Lord. Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was praying in her heart, and her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. Eli thought she was drunk and said to her, How long will you keep on getting drunk? Get rid of your wine. Not so much, Lord, Hannah replied. I am a woman who is drip deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. Eli answered, Go in peace and may the Lord God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She said, may your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went her way and ate something, and her face was no longer downcast. Early in the morning, they arose and worshipped before the Lord, and then went back to their home at Ram Ramah. Elkanah lay with Hannah, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Verse 20 of chapter 1. So, in the course of time... Hannah conceived and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, saying, Because I asked the Lord for him. Let us put our heads down and let's close our eyes. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for today. Thank you, dear God, for the opportunity to be here present in the church and even online, Lord. Thank you that uh, once again, you have something special for us. And with the word that I am about to deliver, Father God, may it be your glory shining before your men. And Father God, may they see you from seasons to seasons of their lives as well, even at the very present and in anticipation of the hope that awaits them. Thank you, dear God, and may you accomplish your purpose in everyone today. 
And Father God, may you complete the joy of your children. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So what we read earlier is actually part and parcel of the story of Hannah. Sino nga po si Hannah? Si Hannah po ay unang asawa ni Elkana and barren po siya before. So when a woman is barren, no, eh, during their time, it seems as though you are cursed and you have no purpose. So bearing a child is really one thing uh, women in the old times look forward to because it's as if that's their purpose. And they find uh, their worth kapag ka po sila ay uh, nagbe-bear ng children. Otherwise, kung barren po sila or di po sila mabuntis or makapanganak, then as if they are the lowly people uh, sa society and they're being looked down on. Ganun po, ka-valuable ang, ang birthing or di kaya ang conceiving during their time. And Hannah is actually the first wife of Elkanah. And because uh, Hannah was not able to conceive, and so there's another wife. And this is Penina, who is blessed naman with children. But uh, you see in the life of Hannah, even when Penina was trying to provoke her, kasi nga, hindi siya magkaanak, alam mo yun, parang uh, this another wife is teasing her, or di naman kaya triggering her, questioning her worth as a woman. You know, Penina, I mean Hannah, should I say, Hannah did not um, did not feel, alam mo yun, hindi siya umalis dun sa purpose niya. Alam niyang may purpose siya. So what she did at the very onset, when she was being provoked by Penina, was to actually go up and pray before the Lord. You know, in our lives, we are also being troubled in so many you know, instances, siguro, magkakaiba tayo ng circumstances sa buhay. Iba-iba yung sitwasyon natin. And, you know, problems that beset us are inevitable. Hindi ito yung mga pagkakataong may mga dumadating na problema sa mga buhay natin, pangangailangan siguro, desires na minsan hindi natin dinudulog sa tamang tao. At sino nga yun? You know, uh, sometimes it's easy na, lalo kapag ka tinitrigger ka ng isang tao o di kaya inaasar ka, parang madali na lang yung magmukmuk, no? Parang yun yung easiest resort natin. You feel the pity in yourself and alam mo yun, nagkaka-anxiety ka na, nadadepress ka na. But, you know, for us, no, Christians, is that, is that, uh, should that rather be, should that be the case? Dapat ba yun yung, yung resort natin? Should that be our run-on response kapag ka tayo sinusubok ng Panginoon? Or may mga hindi binibigay si Lord sa, sa panahong gusto natin? Dapat ba we, we ask advice from people around us first? Look at the life of Hannah. What did she do when she was being provoked? Okay, Hannah actually knew where she should direct her concerns. Kaya nga, dun sa nabasa natin kanina, lumapit siya sa Panginoon at siya ay nagdasal. Ganun po ba tayo? Kapag ba may mga troubles tayo, may mga, alam mo yun, ninanais yung mga puso natin na para bang pagkatagal-tagal, nagpe-pray ba tayo agad? O baka tayo yung dahil parang ang tagal-tagal, sobrang nag-overthink na tayo and we ended up becoming more miserable. Hindi ko alam kung sino sa atin yon Pero I know once in our lives, even or more so when we were not still Christians, siguro ganito tayo. Ito yung normal sa buhay natin na ginagawa. It's an ordinary option. But for Christians, for us Christians who have already come to know the Lord, being born, ag born again, I think it's just natural that we do like what Hannah did. And that is to do the initial and the most essential step. She was also hurt for sure. Siyempre, ikaw ba naman, di ba? You're being pagka, you're pagkababae. Alam mo yung worth mo. It's being put to question. Alam mo na nga eh. You know yourself that that is your situation. And here comes another loved one of your husband. You know, mas binababa ka pa niya sa mga pagkakataong yon. 
mas binababa ka pa niya sa mga pagkakataong yon And uh, normal, it's normal siguro na kaya downcast si Hannah. Sobrang nasasaktan siguro siya sa mga pagkakataong yon But uh, we have to unlock no, yung ginawa ni Hannah. Well, siguro nagmukmuk din siya for quite a moment, na hurt siya, pinrases niya yung pakiramdam na yon. Thank you. But what did she do after? Diba? She she prayed before the Lord. Sorry. I'm sorry po. She prayed before the Lord, hindi nga ba? Umakyat siya, pinore out niya yung puso niya. And in the context of what we have read kanina, Hannah was not praying a normal prayer the way we usually do. Have you ever experienced praying to God na walang lumalabas na salita? Or di kaya your, your lips aren't even moving? Have you ever experienced praying to God that way? Di ba, lahat naman siguro tayo nang galing na sa sitwasyon na hindi mo na lang masabi. But your, maybe your, your cries, no? I mean, your thirst are actually just communicating to the Lord. And you know in your mind there is something you're telling to God because you are in desperate need. Diba? Dumaan na tayo sa mga pagkakataong yun for sure. Iba-ibang mukha man, iba-ibang desire man siguro ang idinulog natin sa Panginoon. We have all come to that certain season in our lives. And um, we might have also realized, no, ng mga pagkakataong nagdadasal tayo ng, sa Panginoon ng isang desperate desire. May mga iba siguro sa atin na ang answer was yes. Okay? Agad-agad, pwedeng bukas meron na, makalawa meron na, yung iba, uh, nung, nung weekend, eh, sa weekend meron na. But there are different phases of God's answers. It's not always yes. Right? Do you guys believe? Of course. And there are also question, uh, I mean, answers from the Lord which comes in a no. But the no may not necessarily be God's denial. Correct? Habang tumatanda tayo, naiintindihan natin na, ah, kaya pala humindi si Lord nung panahon na yon. Kasi behind that no could probably be later. Not now. In due time. And habang nagpapatuloy tayo sa buhay, we get to realize, oo nga, no? If, if this should have happened when I was desperately asking for it, it would be a different story now. May mga, may mga times din ba na parang, um, yun nga, while we grow in our Christian faith, no, we get to discover Parang akala mo nung pinaplano mo yung isang bagay, ah, ang buti nito sa buhay ko. Ang ganda ng mangyayari pag ito sinagot mo, Lord. Ganito, ganyan, you know, we plot everything out, we visualize, we picture how it is becoming. But God did not answer it that time. And when the time arrived, God's answer would actually reveal to you something. Nung sinagot na ni Lord sa tamang panahon, It may be like 15 years after, 10 years after, nung naging senior citizen ka na lang. But you see, I'm sure these people who at a later time received the answer to their prayer before would have learned the same thing. And that is the revelation of God's beautiful purpose. It's to save us and it's to make things more beautiful for us. It's to make circumstances all for our good. Siguro sa mga bata-bata pa ngayon, hindi pa nila naiintindihan. But you see, as you go through life, no, especially keeping on the Christian faith, you will just appreciate it. Hindi mo talaga uh, kailanman maiisip yung kaisipan ng Panginoon. Like, well, it's really overwhelming eh. Lalo kapag nag-mature ka na, na maintindihan mo, even the smallest detail, you will appreciate na aparte pala to nung, nung process ni Lord. But one thing is for sure, what was the song saying earlier? Even when you don't see it, God is working. Amen? Yes, even when you didn't notice it past the 15 years, the 10 years, or hanggang ngayon siguro, hindi mo pa nararamdaman, sa stage mo wala pang answer dun sa prayer mo. 
but know that God has a purpose. And in His due time, He's gonna reveal why. All right? It's, it's not even an answer na tangible. Eh. Sometimes it's the purpose. Ire-reveal sa ng Panginoon kung bakit kaya. Hindi niya inaabot sa iyo, hindi pa niya inaabot sa iyo. And that is what we have to discover in our lives. Okay? One thing is for sure, God is working. Yes. Amen. Do you guys agree with that? That is one, one thing true. And it's an absolute truth. We don't see Him, but He's working. All right? And know people that God hears our prayers. Naniniwala ba kayo doon? Sa ayaw nyo at sa hindi, naririnig niya. Even your unspoken prayers, naririnig niya. Nakikita niya yung puso mo. And you know, God just, God is uh, an, an omniscient God. You know, He's an all-knowing God. He knows everything. Even your deepest secret na ikaw at ang sarili mong nakakaalam, He knows it. And so, that is actually what God wants us to do. Mirroring in the life of Hannah, we should not tire. We, sh- we should not get tired, alright? Di- dapat di tayo napapagod na mag-pray. And when we pray, you know, normal sa tao ang nag-pray ka na lang one year, wala pa din. Ay, pagod na ako, yoko na mag-pray. Diba? O di kaya, Lord, mag- mag-board exam ako ngayon. Dapat in three months' time, may ipasa ko na at, at ano na ako. Deg- Ay, yung tawag dito? A license na ako, may lisensya na ako, mukhang wala, hindi umabot dun sa timetable mo, hindi na pangyari. So, alam mo yun, may mga taong ayaw na magpatuloy, nakalimutan na rin yung essential thing na dapat, mas i- pag-igihan, pang mag at lumapit sa Panginoon, tanungin, Panginoon, saan ako nagkulang, anong problema, para alam ko yung gagawin ko. Yung mga ganun ba? We, we usually cancel these, ano eh, these opportunities na binab- binibigay ni Lord sa mga answers niya na no. ba? Madali lang magtampo. Hmm, wala ka naman pala, Lord eh. Diba? May mga pagkakataon pa na, bakit si ganito, Lord? Oh, tas ayaw mo na lumapit sa Panginoon. Uh, nag-backslide ka na din. Yung mga ganun ba? But siguro for us, no, siguro it's an opportune time. Ano mang estado ng buhay natin sa mga oras na to, let us, let us go back to our basic. I think, I, no, it's not a thought, but I believe, no. I believe what we should resort to even when the answer is yes or all the more when the answer is no is to pray to God. That is a challenge. It's not easy. It's not our normal thing to do. But I challenge everyone that even when seasons don't go your timetable, learn, let us learn to direct our prayers, our intentions, and our desires to God all the more. All right? So that is our point number one on praying persistently. You might be telling me, well, we could resort to people like, um, you know, the closest siguro sa atin, we could actually seek advice from people. That's okay. That's normal. Especially if the people you're considering are people you know are sincere, genuine, mga ganun. Kasi may mga taong na pagsasabihan tayo ng mga pinagdadaanan natin sa buhay na imbes na makatulong sila, alam mo yun, minarites ka pa, o di kaya minislead ka pa, yung mga ganun. So we should know, after we have prayed, of course, after we have prayed, we can consider speaking out to our cell leaders, to our pastors, the people we are, we know, we are confident na who could help us. At tayo lang ang nakakaalam doon, okay? But of course, I should, uh, I should reiterate that the most basic thing to do is definitely to pray first. All right? Pray first, and then you could resort to some other uh, people's advice, siguro. But never forget the persistent or persevering prayer. Yung kahit na fail ka, magpe-pray ka pa din, magpapatuloy ka pa din. All right? Do I hear an amen? All right. Now, we proceed to, um, yeah, I'd like to bring you back to 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 20 in particular to lead us to point number two. All right. Actually, baligtad po yung nasa notes nyo. Dapat yung number two po dyan, eh number three, mamaya po yun. So, yung number three, yan po yung next point natin. All right. 
Okay, so in the course of time, Hannah conceived and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, saying, because I asked the Lord for him. Isn't it a beautiful thing? Look at that. In the course of time. When we say in the course of time, there has been a process, no? May proseso. May mga pinalipas siguro ang, pangan ang pan Panginoon na seasons bago na pangyari yung prayer or bago na ibigay si Samuel bilang fruit ng prayer ni Hannah. You know, we have to believe in God's timing and faithfulness. Do you guys believe in God's timing and faithfulness? Of course, parang magda-doubt ata kung may magno-know dito sa mga oras na to. While it's not easy always, but this is the command of the Lord. We have to believe in His timing and in His faithfulness. God is a miracle wor a worker. God is a promise keeper. People break promises, people change, but God doesn't break promises. He doesn't even change. And so when he said before that he's going to complete your joy, he has a greater purpose. All right? He has a greater way of doing it. It's not by our own will. It's not by our own power. Remember that in this point, believing in God's timing and faithfulness this actually encourages us to, to also remember the truth that God doesn't forget. Alright? Hindi nakalimutan ni pa, ng Panginoon yung, yung tawag dito, yung thirst mo nung umiyak ka, you know, nung humagulgol ka, hindi nakakalimutan ng Panginoon yun. Alam pa niya kung ilang beses ka nang humagulgol sa buhay mo. Sa isang particular na prayer mo, ilang beses mo nang iniyak yun, nakarecord sa Lord yun. He knows it, alright? Nothing is ever hidden before our God. Even your silent prayers, as I was saying earlier, He read it. He was able to decode it. Kasi gawa ka ng Panginoon, alright? Hindi mo man nasabi, na-transcribe niya, na-isulat na niya, na ah, ito yung iniisip ni Dave kanina, sinasabi ni Gord dito kanina, sa kanyang silent prayer na hindi niya, mas, hindi niya ma, ma, ma voice out, hindi niya ma, ma, mabigkas. Alam ng Panginoon yun at hindi niya nakakalimutan. Alam din ng Panginoon yung mga secret diaries natin. Na baka hindi natin masabi sa mga kapamilya natin. O di kaya, not even to our pastors or our cell leaders, we're not able to speak it out. But you know, for some introvert people siguro, yung mga hindi masalitang tao, uh, they would keep diaries. Or di kaya yung mga writers, yung mga ma-emote ma sa buhay emotes sa buhay. Yeah, they would often, these are people I know who would keep diaries, no? And in their diaries are also prayers. God is actually not forgetting whatever is in your diary. He has the record of it. Pati yung wrong na grammar mo. Char lang. <laughs> Joke lang yan. Joke lang po yan. Alright? Perfection is the Lord. <laughs> Alright. And, kagaya sa Shopee or sa Lazada, may mga, ano nang tawag dun? Yung mga list, wish list ba? Wish list ba yung tawag doon? Ah, we, we have the wish list, di ba? Uh, wow, natuto na kasi ako mag Lazada. <laughs> just, just a few days ago. Alright, so we have wish list in life, okay? This could be recorded in the notes of our, ang tawag dito? Of our cell phones, di kaya nakadikit doon sa ating, sa boarding houses, di ba? Lalo pag nasa first na ano ka, ang tawag doon sa bed na two, Two deck? Wala. Ah? Double deck. Di pag nandito ka, di ba, yung ano, nakasulat doon, dahil yung mong wishlist sa buhay from 1 to 99. Di mo palang win 100. Joke. So, may mga wishlist talaga tayo sa buhay. Sinong wala? Ah, lahat may wishlist. So, sigurado ako may a-answeran si, Pang uh, si Panginoon. Ang Panginoon. <laughs> ang Panginoon sa mga wishlist niyang yan. Hindi rin po lingid sa Panginoon ang mga iyon. Nakikita ni Lord. Feeling mo ba ikaw lang nakakakita doon? Ikaw lang nakakaalam na 80 yon. Alam ni Lord yon. And He doesn't forget. Okay? Siguro doon sa 80, ang na-check mo na sa bullet mo, eh, mga tatlo pa lang, o di kaya sampu pa lang, o baka isa pa lang, o baka wala pa. 
di ba? Parang isa club nung wala pa, joke lang. But God is actually not forgetting, okay? Alam niya. Alam niya kung kailan mo iti-check yung pang number three. Ah, okay, bukas, bibigay ni Lord yung number three. Depending sa timetable ng Panginoon. And He doesn't forget that, alright? And even our sana all, hmm, syempre, may mga sana all tayo, di ba? Minsan, na, na, nabibigkas na lang natin na, ah, si ganito, ganyan, may ganito na, oh, si ganito, ganyan, alam mo ba, ganito na siya sa church, sa ministry niya, ganyan siya, ay, sana all. Alam niyo ba, parang minsan, nasasabi lang natin ng walang purpose, but God sees that you are also desiring. So, yung mga sana all na yan, you know, these are actually like um, quoted statements to reveal parts of our intentions. And God heard how many sana all you have spoken. And to what particular, uh, ang tawag dito, activity maybe, or what particular thing you have said sana all. Sino may mga sana all? Siyempre, may mga sana all na walang inggit to ha. Kasi may mga sana all na nainggit ka na, ay, tsaka. <laughs> Wag, hindi tayo ganon. Hindi tayo yon. Okay? Tayo, well, sumasana all din po tayo. Pastor, di ba po? <laughs> Sumasana all din tayo mga Christians, pero yung level ng sana all natin, we take it to inspire us, isn't it? We take it to better us as well. Because when we see someone, let's say for example, I should be honest, no, si Ate Jen sa ministry talaga, or di kaya sa life niya, sumasana all din ako. And I would, I would really have that desire, no, na I hope one day I could also live the life Ate Jen is choosing to live. Or maybe you are also sana alling me. Oh. <laughs> or I am sana alling some others of you. Well, it's okay. So long as we know that my purpose tayo para pabutihin yung sarili natin for the greater glory of the Lord. Know today that your sana all is also recorded in God's record. Alright? Hindi rin nakakalimutan ni Lord yung mga archives natin. Yung mga binaon na lang natin sa limot. May mga ganun pa ba kayo? Sino kayang walang ganun? For sure, ah, siguro sa mga adults, no? sa mga medyo talagang matured na matured na, yung sure na sure na. <laughs> so tayo hindi sure? <laughs> then, yung mga sure na sure na. Uh, these people, yeah, I think so. They too have their archives, their binaon na lang sa limot. May mga pagkakataon din na parang dahil sa tagal na nga, kinalimutan na lang natin. Pero hindi nakalimutan yun ng Panginoon. Di ba may mga ano, may mga pagkakataong nakakita tayo ng mga barren women for like, you know, 40 years, 45 years, but 50 nang anak siya. Namuntis siya. Well, Sarah for example, di ba? It's a, the story of Sarah is not something very new eh, among us. But you see, even in our lives now, in the world where we live into, may mga pagkakataon talaga that when it seems impossible, binaon mo na nga sa limot, but God is surprising us, no? Five decades have passed away, but here is God doing something. Here is God surprising us, and God knows that. Alright? Because God has a purpose. Alright. In chapter 2, I mean, yeah, in... In chapter 1, verse 1 to 20, In the course of time, Hannah conceived and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, saying, Because I asked the Lord for him. Uh, si Samuel, pinanganak siya sa history ng Israel na very crucial period. Siguro kung hindi si Samuel pinanganak sa pagkakataong yan, he would have not been able to anoint David to become a king. Imagine, no? Parang marirealize mo na lang, ah, kaya pala pinanganak si, si Samuel sa ganyang punto or season ng buhay because he is set to do something great in the history of Israel or even in our history, in our continuing history. ba? You see how powerful the Lord is. Hindi natin yun naiintindihan. Hindi siguro naiintindihan ni Hannah before. But later in life, this is actually the answer of the Lord. Samuel was being born all for his greater glory. You know, the, the period when Samuel was born is not soon, not later. It was on time. Siguro sa pagkakataong, uh, sa personal life siguro ni Hannah, it seemed as though it was later in life given. But no, it was actually just given right on time. 
So si Lord, sa ayaw at sa gusto natin, kailan man dumating yung mga prayers natin, it's the right time, okay? So wag na tayong magmaktol pa na unfair ka, Lord. Ikaw naman, Lord, pagod na pagod na ako. Hindi mo pa rin binin. Hindi mo ba nakikita, Lord? Ano ka ba? Nakikita ka ni Lord? Alright? So nakikita po tayo ng Panginoon. Wag na tayong normal lang, tao tayo, valid yun, di ba? Yan ang usong term ngayon eh. Wag mo namang, ano, y- yung, yung ganitong pakiramdam ko, it's valid. Di ba may ganun tayo, di ba? Lalo yung mga babae. <laughs> may mga ganun tayo na, oy, valid yung nararamdaman ko. Very emotional. Well, it's true, it's valid na sometimes we feel emotions talaga na dahil nga hindi tumutugma sa gusto natin, sa panahon natin, nadadowncast din tayo like Hana. Okay? But of course, like Hana, we have to direct first our prayer to the Lord and remember that He has a great timing and His faithfulness reveals through the course of time. Amen? Okay. That is our point number two. Okay. We proceed to the reading of 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 11. And then after that, we proceed to um, chapter, still chapter 1, verses 27 to 28. Yeah, this is actually verse 11 of chapter 1. And she made the vow saying, O Lord Almighty, if you will only look upon your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life and no razor will ever be used on his head. Ano una ulit yung desire ni Hannah? Recitation, joke lang. Ano yung desire ni Hannah? Umpisa pa lang. Magkaroon ng anak na lalaki. Di ba? Yun yung desire niya. Yun yung iniiyak niya sa Panginoon. Yun yung sinasabi niya na hindi mo ba nakikita yung anguish ko? Gusto ko lang namang magkaroon ng anak na lalaki. But in her prayers, ha? Look at that. In the prayers of Hannah, she was actually able to say one thing very important. And it's a vow. Nagganoon na ba kayo sa Lord? Lord, ipromote mo lang ako sa iyo lahat ng sahod ko. Tights lang hinihingi ni Lord and offering, pero sinayo lahat mo. Nung pinromote ka ng Panginoon, nung ginawa mo. O di naman kaya, Lord, i-transfer mo lang ako sa government na agency. Yung first three months na salary ko. We, you know, in our, ano siguro, in our not noticing of the words we speak, nakakapag-commit tayo sa Panginoon, di ba? Well, siguro sa ating Christians, safe tayo mag-commit kasi alam natin may paninindigan tayo at alam natin na Panginoon ang kausap natin. So kapag hindi natin ginawa yung pinangako natin sa Panginoon, we know that that has a consequence. Because you're not actually making a vow to a stone, neither to a dead thing in this world, but to a living God. So be careful. Nagbanta. Whenever you pray in desperation, no, kung wala namang conviction sa inyo, wag kayong ano, tawag dito. <laughs> wag kayong ano, wag kayong <laughs> wag kayong ah, tawag doon. Careless. Wag kayong careless na nagsasabi-sabi lang just to ano, just to please the Lord. Well, sorry. Kahit pa yung mga pagko-quote natin sa mga binavow natin sa Panginoon, alam niya yung future na ah, hindi mo gagawin 'yan. <laughs> hindi totoo 'yan. Joke mo lang 'yan. Char-char mo lang 'yan. Alam ni Lord 'yon. So please let us be careful. Diba the Bible says, let your yes be yes and your no be no. And this has actually a great blessing behind. So know when your promise is a yes and know when it is a no. Now, looking into that, no, the very desire of Hannah was to actually have a child, particularly a son. And so, in the course of time, binigay nga ng Panginoon si Samuel, na anak ni Hannah. Pero... Bumabalik tayo ngayon doon sa umpisa ng lahat. And the umpisa was, nag-vow si Hana kasama nung kanyang pananalangin na kapag binigyan nga siya ng anak na lalaki, iaalay niya to sa Panginoon for the use of the Lord, for His glory. And so ito na yung time na, ang tawag dito, matetest yung complete surrender ni, ni Hana. 
Imagine, no? If you were a mother, well, now I'm a mother, so I would know exactly how it feels, no? Pinag-pray mo, tapos, ay, bibigay mo lang din. <laughs> oh, parang nakaka-confuse. <laughs> no, parang may point na, imagine the misery, kung normal lang na nanay siguro, or kung si Hannah na hindi, niya, hindi siya sincere sa commitment niya sa Panginoon, madali lang siguro gumawa ng para na, ah, Lord, iba na lang. Yung anak na lang ni Penina, rami naman na siya eh. <laughs> diba? Pwede lang sana ganun. O di kaya, yung kay, si, si Eli, bahala na siya maghanap ng ano, alternative for Samuel. And look at this, no? Samuel is the very first child she is gifted with. And now, the Lord is actually recalling the time when she committed to the Lord. And here is a test of complete surrender. Dumating na ba tayo sa point na ang tawag dito? Para bagang uh, may hinihingi si Lord ang hirap bitawan. Tapos, ano pa tayo? Parang, ala Lord, hindi mo ba alam na kapag binigay ko to, magkakandaloko-loko yung pamilya ko. Kapag binigay ko to, wala na akong papakain sa mga anak ko. Kapag binigay ko to, you know, we really could not understand, no? ang hirap intindihin na mga gustong mangyari ng Panginoon, lalo kapag mga test of surrender. But you see, if we are, uh, if we have the faith that God is really God in our lives, I don't think we even have a question. Like Hannah. You look at Hannah, no? Parang, sana all Hannah. You look at Hannah, imagine the courage Imagine the anticipation, no? the hope of a mother. Kasi kilala niya ang Panginoon. Eh. Tayo, kung hindi natin kilala ang Panginoon, ay, hindi ko ibibigay Lord. Lord ka naman eh. But for us, because we know God is God, well, it's easy. I think maluwag. At alam natin sa mga sarili na natin, no? na may purpose ang Panginoon, may gagawin ang Panginoon, mas mabuti, mas Uh, ang tawag dito, nakakabuti para sa buhay namin or sa buhay ng nakararami pag binigay ko to. At alam ko hindi ako pababayaan ng Panginoon kapag nilet go ko to. That is our stand now as tree of life, no? Trees of life, no? Yun na tayo. But for, you know, normal people na hindi pa tayo naging rooted sa word ni Lord, yeah, it's valid. It's valid to feel, uh, ang tawag dito, resistant. Hindi, Lord, hindi pwede. Lord, hindi mo ba alam na ngayon na nga lang binigay, what's kukunin mo? Parang, what's the point, Lord? May mga ganun tayo mga pagtatanang sa Panginoon. But you see, Hannah teaches us one thing, to be obedient and be faithful and to have faith in God that something ahead is actually happening. Amen? So, anong, anong part ng buhay mo ngayon ang hinihingi ng Panginoon? Oras ba? Oras ba para sa Panginoon? Prayer time ba? Na mukhang nakalimutan mo na din, pati mag-pray. Pati yung basic na pagharap sa pagkainan, magpe-pray dapat kayang family. What is it? What is God asking you to surrender? Time? Or maybe talent? The literal talent, the skills. God is wanting you to surrender your talent. For the church maybe, for His ministry. And you do not know how to say yes to the Lord. Or even resources or riches, maybe? I don't know. God for sure has really something He is asking us in complete surrender to. At kayo lang ang makakasagot nun. Or baka naman gusto isurrender ni Lord yung ego mo. Mahirap isurrender ang ego? Ah, ako to eh. Ang hirap kaya. <laughs> diba? Sometimes, this is my character. Ako na to eh. Pag binigay ko to sa iyo, Lord, magtataka na sila. Di na sila maniniwala sa akin. Anong mga pinangangalagaan natin sa mga sarili-sarili natin na alam natin, very precious yun sa atin. At sa mga nakaraang taon, ay inalaw nga ni Lord na mangyari yun. But here comes the time of asking. The Lord is asking. O baka naman yung tights mo na ako ka na, Lord, ma-permanent lang ako from the smallest to the biggest uh, income, I'll give my tights. Ay, pero nakalimutan mo last month. Eh kasi mas importante yung ano, mga ganitong pag pagdadahilan. God doesn't forget even that. He knows that. And it is in record. So whatever God is asking us to, to completely surrender today, wag nang magpatumpik-tumpik pa. 
kung may conviction ng Panginoon sa'yo na isurrender mo na yan, you know that you have to expect, no? As a tree of life, you know that because God is going to, to do something even greater at hindi mo pa yun nakikita, hindi mo pa na-imagine, may gagawin ng Panginoon whenever He asks us of something. Amen? Okay. All right. And we should not forget also, no? Dito sa, yeah, uh, chapter 1, verses 27 to 28, Ate Jen. Yeah, this was actually the time already when she said, I prayed for this child and the Lord has granted me what I asked of him. 28. So now, I give him to the Lord. For his whole life, he will be given over to the Lord. And he worshipped the Lord there. That was the he there in the last sentence refers to Samuel. So, tinupad naman ni Hannah yung kanyang covenant with the Lord. The vow, she didn't break it. Ilang covenant na kay Lord ang binreak mo? Baka naman one last time. Di mo alam, last na pala na hinihingi ni Lord na vow. Na ano sa'yo na, paniningin ni Lord. O, oh, yung sinabi mo nun. Gawin mo na ngayon kasi bukas, char. <laughs> kasi bukas, baka wala ka na pala. Di ba parang nakakatakot yun? Parang namatay ka na lang na may pinangako. May, may usapan pala kayo ni Lord pero hindi mo nagawa. Tapos, Allah, just ko, wag naman sana mga trees of life. no Iba tayo. So, hindi tayo yon <laughs> Hindi tayo aabot sa puntong ganon. Na may, 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 may prayer pala tayo nun na siguro baka dahil lang emotional tayo. Pero nasabi natin yun sa Panginoon eh. We should be conscious enough to know that we have spoken something as a covenant to the Lord and that we are willing to pay the price or to give due as we, as we have spoken. Alright? Because... Because later in life, no, when you realize na yung prayer mo, ginrant ng Panginoon, hindi dahil para isatisfy tayo eh. Napansin niyo ba? May mga prayers tayo na sinagot ng Panginoon. Pero later, ma realize mo na lang na una, akala mo, finulfill ka ng Panginoon. But um, as time passes by, you would realize that the Lord is actually fulfilling His purpose. And it's all for His greater glory. It may be in your life, God has put that answer to. But God is actually building you up to be an inspiration maybe to these people around you. To your cell members. Or maybe to your parents. Or maybe to larger society. My purpose ang Panginoon. So yun dapat yung ilook forward natin kapag feeling natin nakakatakot, uh, ang tawag dito, mag let go. Pag may hinihingi ang Panginoon sa atin, no? That God is actually fulfilling something beautiful in our lives or through us, alright? For other people, for His greater glory. So, surrender your heart's desires to God. That is our point number three. Alright, we move to point number four. This time, we proceed to second, Sa I mean, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. Okay, in chapter 2, this is uh, Hannah's song and prayer. Nung binigay niya na si Samuel, gagaya nga ng pinangako niya sa Panginoon, dumating si Hannah sa puntong, you know, she's, she's uttering songs of praise before the Lord. It's a song of prayer, right? So the prayer runs this way. Then Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. In the Lord, my horn is lifted high. My mouth boasts over my enemies, for I delight in your deliverance. Chapter 2, I verse 2. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Do not keep talking so proudly or let your mouth speak such arrogance. For the Lord is a God who knows and by Him deeds are weighed. The bows of the warriors are broken, but those who stumbled are armed with strength. Those who were full hire themselves out for good, but those who were hungry hunger no more. She who was barren has borne seven children, but she who has had many sons 
finds a way. The Lord brings death and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and raises up. The Lord sends poverty and wealth. He humbles and he exalts. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with princes and has them inherit a throne of honor. For the foundations of the earth are the Lord's. Upon them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his saints, but the wicked will be silenced in darkness. It is not by strength that one prevails. Those who oppose the Lord will be shattered. He will thunder against them from heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the, the horn of his anointed. Yung pagkakasulat na itong uh, song of prayer ni Hana, kung babalikan natin yung mga nakaraang pagkakataon sa mga buhay-buhay natin, o di naman kaya nung nandito na tayo sa church, no? Ang dami na natin narinig na words. Not necessarily the story of Hana or not this song in particular, but what Hana is actually speaking is a general truth na ang dami ng characters sa Bible or ang dami ng parts ng Bible na nagsasabi ng same words na ito. Only that in different context since nanggagaling kay Hana ito. And the, the song of Hana speaks of just one thing. That God is a sovereign God. He is powerful. God, according to Hana, can change situations. G Hana used to be barren, right? And what did Hana realize when she actually uh, took heed of what God told him, I mean, took heed of the vow she made? What happened? Doon na-realize ni Hana na oo nga naman, no? Ang Panginoon talaga, very powerful siya. Doon niya mas naintindihan na si Lord, Lord na siya. At pati yung prayer ni Hana na hindi niya nasambit, alam ng Panginoon. At sinagot nga yun ng Panginoon. And in Hannah's prayer also, in the song of prayer, she was also being grateful. She was just trying to exalt the Lord of His sovereignty, of His powerful deeds, not only in her life, but maybe of the experiences that she had before even receiving Samuel and before even returning Samuel to the Lord. Remember that the sovereignty of God dun sa prayer ni Hannah just reveals also one thing. If your situation now seems to be not in favor of how you planned your life, know that God can change your situation. Masyado bang mahirap ang mga pinagdadaanan mo ngayon? At pakiramdam mo, wala nang katapusan yan? At gusto mo nalang tapusin? Uy, wag, wag, wag. Know that God can change your situation. Do you believe? Yes, you have to believe. And in believing, no? You have to praise God. Oop, eto na naman tayo. Hindi ka pinasa ni Lord, let's praise God. Hindi binigay ni Lord yung answer mo, let's praise God. Hindi maganda yung takbo ng buhay mo, praise God. This might be your point of uh, argument. But I tell you, even when you're blessed or not, praise God. And when you're not all the more nga, eh, you have to praise the Lord. Kukuha niya ba yun? Baka ako lang nakakaintindi doon. Kasi medyo nalito ako. Even when you are not being blessed the way you like it, you praise God. Because when God sees your persistence or even your joy doing it, honoring Him, believing that He's gonna do something in your life, even when no answer is obvious, God will acknowledge your heart. And eventually, in due time, in His perfect time, He's gonna grant it. So praise God. Nag Nagpe-pray ka ba? Ops, wait lang. Nagpe-pray ka ba ng boyfriend? Oh, walang karapatan yung mga estudyante. Tigil-tigil ah, nyo yan. Nagpe-pray ka ba ng partner in life? Boyfriend, girlfriend siguro. Praise God in your season right now. God is doing a beautiful thing. God is accomplishing a great purpose in your life. And when God sees the, the time right, He's gonna give it to you. Amen? 
Or di naman kayo nagpa-pray ka ng bahay. O di ba nag-pray tayo ng church? Di ba lahat tayo nag-pray doon, di ba? Iniyak din natin sa Panginoon yun. We shared also in the burden of, you know, committing to the Lord na, Lord, akin na yung tiles na lima. We, 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 ano, we dipped our fingers in the, in the works of the Lord or even in the, um, ang tawag dito, in many other things. Nakipag-commit din tayo sa Panginoon. But here comes the Lord. Hindi naman natin sinabi kay Lord na ibibigay namin yung church pag ano. Walang tayong ganong pray. Vow, di ba? But God took the church. He allowed it. What did we do? Of course, sino ba namang hindi nalungkot sa atin? Di ba? Umiyak pa nga tayo eh. We felt sorry. Like, why? We even questioned. Like, why, Lord? But after that, it just passed away so easily, no? It was momentarily. Saglit lang yun, kasi kristyano tayo, ano ka ba naman? Ang dami ng ginawa ng Panginoon, yan lang ba? Pagkaanohan natin. We realized that what we had to do was to even pray to God. Go nearer to God. And ask God's wisdom, why? Ask God's answer, as God's conviction and leading. Ang dami na pong storya na kung pananalaminan lang naman natin ay, naku, hindi pa ba tayo magtatanda? Ang tanda-tanda na po natin sa Panginoon, no? And we have to praise the Lord. Ano pa man po yung sitwasyon natin sa buhay, we have to praise the Lord. Do I hear an amen? Praising God doesn't just come in our songs. Not also just in our, how do you call this, music, in our ability to, you know, uh, to speak the song. I mean, yes, uh, be with the melody. You know, praising the Lord is actually uh, letting people know God is God. Praising the Lord is living the life that is pleasing before God. Praising the Lord is actually uh, bearing the fruits of the Holy Spirit and let people see and witness how patience works in you, how gentleness works in you. These are many forms of praising the Lord. You give your tithes and your offering. You know, you speak the word to people. You are praising God in these acts. So in any aspect of life, when you feel as though wala ka ng pambili ng, ang tawag dito, ng pagkain bukas, you praise God because in your garden are vegetables. Hindi mo tinanim. Saluyot, for example. Di ba? You praise God. You know, it's easy to it's easy to magnify what is missing. It's easy to magnify what's lacking. But have we ever took attention to what is actually around us? Praise God. And when you forget, and when you feel like God forgot you, remember to praise God. Okay? Amen? So that is it. You have to praise God, of course, and acknowledge His supremacy over all your circumstances. Be it the beautiful, the ugly, praise God. Okay? All right. Now we're down to the last point. In the last point, we're looking into 1 Samuel chapter 2, verses 18 to 21, and then later on, 26. But don't forget that as we go to point number 5, point 1, 2, 3, and 4 are crucial points to realize what point number 5 actually is. Pwede po nating balikan while we wait, no? Chapter, still on chapter 1, ay chapter 2 rather, chapter 2, verses 18 to 21. Chapter 2. Sorry, Ate Jen. Alright, so there, but Samuel was ministering before the Lord, a boy wearing a linen ephod. Each year, his mother made him a little robe and took it to him when she went up with her husband to offer the annual sacrifice. And verse 20, Eli would bless Elkanah and his wife, saying, May the Lord give you children by this woman to take the place of the one she prayed for and gave to the Lord. Then they would go home. Jan po muna tayo. So when Samuel was already doing the services for the Lord, 
um, Elkanah and Hannah still went up to do annual sacrifice. And of course, they were also uh, there, maybe taking the chance to visit their son, okay, Samuel. And at that point, when Eli acknowledged no, that Hannah and Elkanah were actually doing the annual sacrifice, parang Eli found favor. Well, it's directly the favor is from the Lord, of course. But Eli, being the priest there, would see, ah, ito yung babae na naakala ko, lasing pa siya. Naglalas, naglalasing siya. Pero ito yung babae kung saan nanggagaling ngayon ang minister ng Panginoon. Ang servant ng Panginoon. At ito pa rin siya. Nandito na ang anak niya, but still, she consistently does what is pleasing before the Lord. And what has that to do with the Lord? The Lord acknowledged that for sure. That's why in exchange, well, I, I don't think it's even an exchange, no? That's why seeing that, God gave to Hannah five more children. Three sons and two daughters. That is God's provision. That is God's favor. And when you do point number one, like Hannah, you pray persistently and perseveringly. You believe in God's timing and in His faithfulness. And you surrender your heart's desires. You praise God in all your circumstances. Well, you have all the right to expect God's favor and blessing. Pero kung sa point one, two, three, and four, at mukhang may issue pa po tayo dyan, medyo ibahin natin yung tingin natin sa favor or sa blessing ng Panginoon. But if we just willingly, you know, uh, change the course of our minds and our hearts and align with how Hannah did it, then for sure, no, 100%, better things and better days are awaiting for each one of us. Amen. Five more children it's God, is God's great favor and providence. Nung binigay mo yung tithes mo, nangako ka sa Panginoon, at ikaw yung parang si Hana, si Ate Jen, look at Ate Jen, no? Sana all. Yeah, di ba? Look at Ate Jen. Look at the vow. You know, the pure, the pure heart to willingly obey as you have spoken your vow before a God. Look at the favor. The favor is something you cannot imagine happening. And it's all because of God. Alright? And of course, dun tayo sa chapter 2 pa din, the last verse I would want to point into is, chap is verse 26. Yeah. And the, the boy Samuel grew in stature in the presence of the Lord. And the boy Samuel continued to grow in stature and in favor with the Lord and with men. Look at that. Si Samuel lumaki siya in stature and in favor. When you are someone with a stature, you are in an upright position. Ano mang aspeto ng buhay mo? And what is that for Samuel? She won the favor of the Lord and eventually men. But first, he won the favor of the Lord. Look at the life of Hannah. Look at how Samuel has grown up to be for the glory of the Lord. And look, look at the return of that to Samuel and to Hannah as a mother, no? Bilang nanay na nag-conceive sa batang iyon, nag-alaga sa kanya sa loob ng nine months until three years old because sa, siguro mga at most three, because sa kanya lang naman binigay ang si Samuel sa Panginoon nung na-win niya na si Samuel. Can you just imagine God's moving? And can you just imagine what that means for Hannah? And who would know that the boy Samuel, sabi ko nga kanina, was actually the prophet who would anoint David before he's gonna become a king. Nagpanganak ka ng isang propeta, hindi mo alam, kaya pala siya hinihingi sa'yo ng Panginoon, 
Kasi, inayos na ng Panginoon yung buhay ni Samuel at itinilaga siya na mag-a-anoint later on sa isang king. And that was King David. Beautiful. Diba? Parang ko ako, nanay, oh my God, I have done the most right thing in the world. Diba? Parang, well, I just can't explain it. Siguro me speaking as a mom now, it's really different. It's to me, sabi ko nga kanina, very personal. So that is, that is it. We have to remember people that uh, with the life of Hannah, there are no such thing as accidents or paano ba yung ano yung term natin dun sa timing ni Lord? Coincidence. Yeah, there's no such thing as coincidence sa mga buhay-buhay natin, no? Walang ganun. Our lives are actually taken control by the Lord. And if we are people who submit our lives to God, it's normal for us to acknowledge that God is doing this on His time, by His time, by His season right here, or there, or where else He plans doing. Amen? Walang coincidence po sa mga buhay-buhay natin. Hindi yung pakiramdam mo, ah, baka dahil ito nun sa kasalanan ko nun, kaya hindi pa binibigay ni Lord. Eh, alam mo na nga, nakapag ka nang hihingi ka ng tawad sa Panginoon at kinalimutan mo na yun, di ba bagong tao ka na? So bakit, bakit ka pa rin nakakulong sa ganong paniniwala when in fact you you can, you can actually believe and say to yourself that I'm going through the process of the Lord. And in His time, it's gonna happen. So that's it. That is the preaching for today. But of course, syempre hindi pwedeng hindi. Last night, I realized nga na iba pala yung nasend ko kay pastor na, na outline. I mean, na iba siya dun sa 2 and 3. Kasi sinabi ko, Ate Chris, when I was trying to outline my testimony, Ate, baligtad po yung ganyan. Ruth, ayoko umiyak ngayon, na. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was telling Ate Chris to, to, you know, change it. But of course, yeah. And, um, ang hirap mag-outline ng testimony. Pero alam ko, ang dami sinasabi ni Lord sa akin, nung August pa kasi binigay ito ni Pastor, eh. Pero parang nung Saturday lang, Sabi ko, dun sa original na plano ko, dun sa outline ng 611 Hong Kong, parang ang hirap kong, ang hirap kong i-ano yung revelation sa akin. Kasi yung mga words nila ba, o di ka yung phrasing, parang iba. So tinanong ko si Pastor ni Saturday, Pastor Dan, pwede po ba yung outline? Pero yun pa rin po yung text, ay ganito, ganyan. Of course, sure, sure. O sinend ko sa kanya, go deliver it. So that was it. I hope, Pastor, I was able to deliver it, no? Now is my testimony. Prayer list ba? Dami po ako niyan. Even when I was still single, until I became a married woman, until I became a mom and a wife, and I had my own family. Inom po muna ako. Wait lang. When I was single, I know clearly that my very prayer was to become successful. And it's always been my word to the Lord na kapag... <laughs> naman. That when I would be, I will make sure I will become a blessing. So that was during my single life season. Sorry po, masyado ata ako emotional. And yun nga, season changed. I got married. What happened with my prayer before? It's the same prayer I carried on inside married life. But of course, along with others, I would tell, Lord, Continue to bless us. And we will make sure we'll be a blessing. And of course, there are some details of that very desire. We pray to God for a child. Of course, 
three years din po namin pinagpray yon. And we asked God, of course, for promotion. And in the course of time, we asked God for the transfer of Carrie, my husband, to a nearer place, particularly in Peña Blanca, because he travels every day for one hour going, one hour, I mean, coming back home. So that has been our situation since day one of our married life. Until we entered family life because God answered our prayer of having a child. We were able to receive some monitress. And inside family life, it's the same prayer. Lord bless us and we will be a blessing. Yung about dun sa child, I also went through the process. We went through the process. We consistently prayed because our prayer routine is we do it alternately. I pray tonight, Kari does the next night, I would alternate. So every day yan. Nag-pray nang nag-pray nang nag-pray until for three years, it seems as though two years kama na lang at most as if God was not listening. We were doing our part. We were praying, of course. And uh, we had to visit. We had to visit an OB. Nagpaalaga po kami sa loob ng mga taong yon. I had to take med- medicines from the biggest to the smallest ones. Numbered yung araw, mga ganun. It, seem, it seems as though yung mga panahong yun nakakapagod. Napagod nga po kami. Ako lalo. Parang sabi ko, ang tagal naman, Lord. <laughs> ano ba yan? Parang pagod na ako. Na. Minsan kasi, nung nagpapacheck up, parang uh, ako na lang mismo nagdatalight sa sarili ko, magpapaano ng dugo, kasi si Kari may paso. So parang I got tired. Ayoko na, sabi ko kay Kari, ayoko na din na. Lumipat pa kami ng OB, parang, para lang baka ano, baka sa ibang OB. Tapos napagod ako. <laughs> ako lalo, napagod. Sabi ko, ayoko na. Bahala na si Lord. So dumating sa ganon, nag-pray, nag-pray, nag-pray. Tapos tumigil sandali. Hanggat sa naalala mo, syempre kristyano ka, nag a ka ng church, di ba? Every Sunday ba naman, andito ka, nagbabasa ka pa. Ang dami mong, ang daming paraan ng Panginoon na nangi, nangungusap sa'yo, tapos hindi ka na magpe-pray. So momentarily, di ba, we stop the praying. Until such time, parang um, I submitted and said, it's the will of the Lord. Yung will ng Panginoon ang mapangyayari. And I realize, no, alam ko marami sa inyo nakakaalam ng testimony ng marriage namin ni Cardi nung mga panahong yun na nagpe-pray din kami ng child. And I realize it was not the right season some would be born. Otherwise, she would not be some today. So ganon, after nung sandaling pamamahinga, sa pagpe-pray, nalungkot, na-depress, na-depress siguro ganon, nagkaroon na anxiety, ayaw nang dumabas kasi lagi nalang tatanong yung tao, oh, wala pa, parang, o oh, di kayo na. <laughs> <laughs> di ba, parang, ayaw ko na talagang lumabas noon, parang, ah, kung pwede rin, shut up, shut up, shut up, ganon, walang magsasalita tungkol, kasi it's hurting. So, yun nga, of course, we were coming to church, so the Lord would always remind us, And when I remembered God's timing again and God's faithfulness, kasi hindi naman nagsawa ang Panginoon na sabihin yun, i-remind yun. So, ayun, bumalik ulit sa, sa praying at sinabi na nga lang namin na the Lord will make it right. And when we pray that the Lord will make it right on His time, it was when God was actually also reconciling us in our marriage. Di ba beautiful? It was the time when God was actually preparing us pala. Especially me. <laughs> Because I will be carrying some eh. And inside our marriage before, I was the nagger wife, the nagging wife, the ma-issue na wife, the overthinker na wife, the demanding na wife. I was all that sort of a wife, the very negative wife. Imagine a child growing inside my womb with all that feelings I have. It would be a different sound today. And so the ending was, we submitted to the Lord. We waited for His will and His purpose to come 
happening. And it happened. Samonetris was born. And this is amazing. Our OB was very particular of the date when the implantation happened. And it was on our third year anniversary. And there was one time before we went to Baguio, I was, I, I received, I'm sure I received a vision saying, hindi ko alam ano celebration nun, but doon sa may ganito namin, yung cortina namin pa ganito, I was telling Carrie, Dad, happy family tree. Pero wala pa kaming ano nun, ah, tumigil kami sa pagpipray nun, parang bigla ko lang nakita yon. And that was actually like a day before we traveled to Baguio. So Sam was made in Baguio <laughs> on our third year anniversary. And you know, it was our third year anniversary, sabi ko, and we will be coming three. Diba? Galing talaga ni Lord. <laughs> so that was on the aspect of bearing a child. His timing and his faithfulness is really something I would forever be grateful about. Sam was born when I was already becoming more understanding, more loving, more patient. At naintindihan ko na ang pace ng husband ko, hindi ko pace. Na magkaiba kami ng asawa ko sa mga proseso, sa mga bagay-bagay. So the, the home, the house became home, ready for someone at rest to be born. And she was born right on God's perfect time. We prayed for promotion. I told you that. It took quite a while to receive it na para bang, ay, kakapagod naman mag-antay dun sa promotion na yon. Na-deny kami nung una kasi daw kaka-permanent namin. So, napa-evaluate kami. Alam na namin yung rank na pupuntahan namin. I will be, uh, that time, my rank should be as uh, instructor three. Pero hindi na-grant because nga, we were just, uh, um, hired for permanent item. So we prayed for promotion. We didn't get tired praying for it as well. Until last year, God promoted me into five steps of a level. And promotion comes really in different phases. God promoted us not just that way in the career. But you remember, we were able to acquire a property in 2019. Always end of the year kami nakaka-acquire ng property. I don't know. Eh, that was in 2019. And that property is actually, you know, having passive income. So monthly, 7K ang amortization namin sa pag-ibig because it's a, it's a loaned property. I just have to pay 7,000. But... Uh, the property earns even double or triple its, its amortization. And that, I believe, is God's promotion. And just last year, when God promoted me, we were able to, to purchase another lot. And that is in CSU Kari. I remember when I asked for these, these ano, when we prayed for this, no? We were telling God, hindi ko to makakalimutan. Ako yung nag nag-exhort ng uh, ng tithes and offering that first Sunday of our marriage ni Kari. I spoke here and I made a vow before the Lord. But we talked we talked it out of course beforehand. That we make sure from the smallest centavo we receive until the biggest one, we will always give our tithes and we will continue to be a blessing to people. We did not forget that. We did it. Because we know na si Lord yung pinangakuan namin at hindi tao lang. And so I realized when we took heed of God's, I mean, when we remembered God's timing and faithfulness, we of course had to surrender. And that was our surrender. We made sure we rebuke each other now. We rebuke each other lovingly of what we see is hindering us from becoming a tree of life. Our relationship now as a husband and wife, I, I believe, is near to perfect, Char. 
<laughs> now it's really something I am very proud about and I'm very thankful God about. Nakaka-overwhelm talaga si Lord. And of course, the promise of bless us Lord and we will bless people. We never forget that. That's why if you see Ate Jen, no, pag nagtatides kami, seldom yung offering namin because we also had commitments of sharing to other people which we do consistently today. And it's also a covenant we made with the Lord. We never forget to support whoever God gives us the conviction to give. And it's because it's surrender. Sinabi namin kay Lord yun, bakit hindi namin gagawin? That's why in our smallest capacity or basta in any capacity we could help, we will always make sure we would. And I praise God. We praise God. Sa monetress, you see, is also praising God. That's why now, I'm, I'm, I'm uncertain of what else has to, to happen. What is there ahead of us in my, in my career, siguro, in my family life. But there is one thing for sure. Right now, our hearts are happy. And our life is happy. And I thank God for this. I praise God. I would remember, no, parang kagabi lang nung ina-outline ko to, naalala ko na naman yung bat, nung bata ako. <laughs> when I was younger, ewan ko, ilusyonada talaga ata ako, or <laughs> hindi ko alam, baka talagang ganun na ako inano ni Lord. <laughs> ganun yung pagkakagawa niya sa akin. Ganun talaga, hindi baka, ganun talaga. I would remember, no, parang ni-reveal sa akin ni Lord na balikan ko yung younger self ko. And God revealed to me the times I was walking from school to home, from home to school, and my encounters in, in the classrooms. Well, I used, I, I am really a consistent honor student since elementary. Until, yun nga, until nag-high school ako, ang dami kong karanasan na para bang, Bakit ang hirap ng buhay? Parang, why do my classmates have have these resources? I do not have it. I barely have any. I would see my parents really working hard. As in, nakikita ko naman yon. But I know something, something is not really right the time. Like, sinabi ko talaga, nung nasa bukid ako, hindi ganito ang buhay ko in the future. Tapos pag nakakasalubong ko yung nanay ko before na magtitinda siya sa elementary and I would go home, I would tell, Lord, bless me and I will be a blessing to my family. And you see, my life right now, it's not just because we have all these that we have right now, but it's a life that is peaceful because my commitment to the Lord, I never forgot. We never forgot our parents, not only my parents but even the parents of Kari, we made sure that from the time that God united us together, we will also be of help to our parents. That's why if you see, parang they would always be part of our cuento. Like, we wanted them to experience you know, life life that we were, we were not granted with during our early days. And so looking into my life until I reach this point, God's favor and grace is something, something blurry before to me, to my younger self. But as I matured, no? Nung nagmature ako, thanks to this church talaga, thanks to the Lord for bringing me into this circle, I know it was not coincidence. Nung lumalim tayo sa, sa word ng Lord, parang doon natin naintindihan na habang nagmamature tayo, parang very safe na yung mag-expect sa grace talaga at sa favor ni Lord. Parang minsan, very confident ka na na alam mong may gagawing mas mabuti pa ang Panginoon. And this is exactly what we are into right now. It's, it's an expectant heart that because you are confident, you are doing 
what you have vowed before the Lord, something will just really happen for His glory and for your favor. And so married life, what has that done to our married life? Carrie and me was recognized or was acknowledged, yeah, were acknowledged with a testimony by yung sa scholarship po, yung benefactors. Uh, Nireveal niya na lang sa amin na kahit di siya active po sa Facebook, they keep a track record of how my personal life is going and even my my married life and my life now. And so parang Sir Johnny would say, would, would one day say, kami ang magmamanage sa mga scholars sa Tubigaraw. And hindi lang po mga scholars yung kausap namin dito, kundi mga parents po na iba-iba po yung pinanggagalingan, iba-iba yung mukha ng kanilang relationship with their husbands and wives siguro. Iba-iba po yung kwento nila. But how did we even deserve this? I would understand siguro kung ako kasi alumna ako eh. But for such a disposition coming from Sir Johnny, also a wise man, parang recognizing this in us is actually God's grace. And I really praise God for it. Na magamit kami sa mga, ito kaya yung mga ini-imagine namin ni Carrie pag nag-uusap kami na pag mag-retire kami, ito yung mga gagawin namin. But sabi ko kay Carrie nga, one day, grabe no, parang ginagawa na ni Lord yung mga pinapangarap natin na, Because we want to live a legacy and ano, later on when we retire. Kasi what are we gonna do when we retire, di ba? E teachers kami. And now, God is actually doing it at our age. And all because of God's grace. It's God's favor. And about Carrie's transfer, our very specific prayer, na, 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 nakalimutan na rin natin, dito ituloy pray, no? <laughs> Napagod na tayo, was to transfer him to Peña Blanca National High School. Si ilang years na din. We got married in 2018. So, compute it. Yun po yung mga panahong si Carrie ay bumabiyahe. At ang prayer talaga namin nun, lumapit na din po kami sa mga powerful people para lang ilapit siya. Pero wala ko silang nagawa. You see? They're not powerful, Char. <laughs> Because God is powerful. You know what God did? Carrie, supposed to be, na election ban kasi siya. God will not transfer him in Peña Blanca National High School, but God will transfer him in CSU. <laughs> Di ba? Parang nagulat talaga kami kasi nag-try na siya before noon eh. Pero parang sabi ko, dinidiscourage ko pa nga siya. Kasi yung chances, parang, ay, mukhang ano sa CSU. Parang ang dami ko nang sinabing negative. Huwag <laughs> na dear, parang mga ganyan. <laughs> Tapos parang sa point na, pero nakikita ko yung persistence na eh, na, na gano'n, na lumabit sa CSU. Hanggat sa siguro na ano na lang siya sa akin na wag na, wag sa CSU, gano'n. Pero dinigil po namin ipag-pray talaga kasi parang umasa kami doon sa mga powerful people. Wala, wala pa rin. Hanggat sa parang pag-uwi namin galing Singapore, itry nga natin, parang gano'n. Itry ulit natin. Kasi nagpasa na nga po siya before. Sige. Tapos parang one, in just three days, ganun kabilis. Nagpasa siya, na-interview siya the next day pinagpasa uh, na interview pinakuha the next day yung kanyang and it's not the next day kasi holiday pala so the next week the first day of that week pinakuha na yung mga requirements na ipe-prepare niya but the HR explained to him nga na sa second sem na siya mag-start kasi yung election ban buti daw sana kung nung na-interview siya nag-time in na siya eh alam naman time in siya interview pa lang niya so so you see that is God's beautiful favor and God's grace As to sa monetress, I'm sorry, talaga pong marami po ang sasabihin. As to sa monetress, God's grace and favor is one thing very visible. Kami man din, nakaka-surprise si Lord. Parang ganon. Kasi bata pa lang talaga si Sam. Actually, one year, six months pa lang po si Sam. But she is manifesting something, actually, so many things we're not expecting for her age. Alam niyo po ba si Sam sa bahay? <laughs> Reveal eh. Si Sam, doon sa mga hindi nakakita ng video, whenever we eat, she would call us. Mama Leeds, referring to my mama. Because mama stays with us every weekdays. Mama Leeds, pinapaupo niya. Hanggat nakaupo lahat sa dining, pray na. And she would 
put her hands together and then bow before her, her baby chair. And then whenever we finish our prayer, she always says, Amen. And when, whenever random siya eh, bigla na lang siya mag-worship. Tapos tatawagin niya kami, Daddy Hand, mata, pikit, eyes, pikit. Eh kung nga lang, pupuntahan niya pa kami, gaganan niya pa kami. Pikit, worship. And she would worship. Hindi ko alam, pero na-overwhelm talaga ako. Galing ni Lord, grabe siya. <laughs> Pagka talagang si Sam, may mga ganon, sabi ko, grabe ka Lord. Parang, kaya pag nakikita ko si Sam na ganon, I would always anticipate that the best is yet to come. And I would always say, parang grabe, grabe ka Lord. Parang ito yung mga hindi ko nakita, hindi namin nakita, but God is just doing it. And the kind of favor we're receiving now is something we couldn't contain but tell because it's a testimony. It's something God is letting us experience for His greater glory. Naniniwala ako na hindi pinaparanas ito ng Panginoon just for us. But you know to maybe tell people that this is how God works if only, if only we pray persistently, we surrender, and we praise Him whatever the aspect of our life is. And here's another favor. Dami. That's how overwhelming the Lord is, no? Yung nabili po namin property last year, all the, the plans from the engineering, uh, yung mga plano po, na, napagawa na po namin. And how it started is also something of a blessing we consider. Meron tong kumare ko na parang ko author siya author din siya so nagmeet lang kami parang minsan so parang nagreach out siya sa akin na you know what i felt like this like that when we met one night lang yon so parang nagreach out na siya nagkukuwento na siya about sa life niya and she's so rich i mean she she really has all the luxuries in life she is a mother of three engineer pala yung husband niya so parang one time may meeting kami so nagkukuwento siya alam mo ba yung about sa gayto, apartment nila. Tapos parang nakwento ko din na ay, kami nga, mare, parang may nabili kami pero sa kana yun, pag ano, parang ganon. Diyan, saan? Sa may kari. Uy, si, si husband ko, mare, siya nagagawa ng plano. Parang ganon. Bigla-bigla lang po, siya nagagawa ng plano. Tapos sabi ko, you name the price, mare, para mab- mabayaran ko din or makapag-advance. But she said, and her husband also reached out to us in a GC she did na wala kaming problema sa mga ganon. So, nagawa nga po yung plano, even when we were not able to to hand pa the money or did transfer, nagawa na pala nila, napaprint na din po nila yung lahat ng kailangan. So, kukunin ko na lang. Alam mo yun, sabi ko, magkano po yung bayad ko? Kasi parang mas, mas nakakaano yung ganon, di ba? Yung libre. Parang mas nakaka-pressure yun. Bayaran na lang, parang ganon. Pero ayaw po talaga nila. Parang they're sharing the dream with us lalo yung mare ko kay Sam, iba yung ano niya kay Sam, I don't know. But she has also that special love so for Sam, I could not understand. Tapos yun. So, nagbibigay na kami ngayon ng pera din sa kanila kasi uh, since kilala na sila, madami na kapukas silang buildings dito na napatayo, apartments. Kilala na nila yung mga papagkukuhanan ng mura. So, sila na din po lahat yung... Pero yung bayad talaga nung ano, wala daw po kaming babayaran doon. So, para bang... Allah Lord, parang, you know, the blessing of the Lord does not just come in any tangible thing we know. It also comes through people. No? People are blessings. That is one thing I really was able to discover. And so, sila pa ngayon nagsasabi na, so, kailan, kailan na kami pwedeng mag, ano? So, tinatanong nila yung, yung finances namin. So, sinasabi po namin openly, like, how much we have and what is our plans. And then they would say, kaya yan. So when they said na magpapaano na kami ng, when we said pala ng October po na magpapatayo na ng apartment doon, the engineer was even saying, uh, rainy season, so kinoconsider niya po yung working time. So ayun nga, sabi niya sa December na lang or January. So sabi ko naman, sige sa December 1 na lang since it's my 30th birthday. So pastor, alam mo na po sa birthday ko. So you, you see, these are all um, tawag dito, These are all the manifestations of God's grace and mer- and uh, favor in in our lives. And this is a picture of how God 
really wanted to show forth His glory. Alam kong hindi lamang pang-personal to na inaalaw ng Panginoon na mapangyari sa mga buhay-buhay namin. But we, Carrie and I, believe that God is actually just fulfilling what He has set as a promise in us. And He is fulfilling the very desires of our heart. He blesses us so that we too may become a blessing to people and so that we too can display His glory. And so what? But let us thank the Lord. Iba-iba po yung itsura ng mga kwento natin sa buhay, but I know there is so much to magnify in our lives. To thank God, to believe that uh, in our seasons of lives, one day it will come to pass when all His favors and grace shall happen one step at a time. And so to God be all the glory. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Palakpangan nga po natin ng Panginoon. Are we all blessed? Napakabuti ng Panginoon. Malala ko po si Mase. Tinanong ko po siya minsan. Mase, ano, meron na akong apo. Sinagot po niya ako na, you know, I know, na very high heavy yung kanya pong sagot. Darating na lang yun, Pastor. Alala ko po yan. At naramdaman ko po yung bigat sa kanya pong kalooban. Do, hindi po siya nagsasabi kung ano yung pinagdadaanan nila. But you know, my brothers and sisters, today, narinig ho natin ang preaching at naunawaan po natin marahil yun pong perfect will ng Panginoon kung paano siya kumikilos sa lahat. Amen. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, meron kang sariling storya. Lahat na tayo, eh, may kanya-kanyang story. Amen. At uh, hindi ko po alam kung gaano kala ka, kabigat ang pinagdadaanan po ng ilan. But, The very preaching that we received today ay isa pong uh, full pack na message para po lalo nating maintindihan. Ano po ang buhay kristyano? I said buhay kristyano sapagkat ang buhay labas sa kalooban ng Panginoon ay iba. At hindi po natin buhay yun. Because we believe and we expect na tayo na mga anak ng Panginoon, nabubuhay po tayo doon po sa perfect will ng Diyos. At marami pong nagsasabi, kapag tayo krisyano, wala nang problema. Okay? Ang first Samuel, yung topic po ni Mase ay napaka- Napakaganda. Pero gusto ko lamang hong buksan sandali. Balikan nga natin yung 1 Samuel. Especially of verse uh, verse 4 hanggang sa verse 6. Before we pray, ang family po na ito ay naglilingkod din sa Panginoon. Alright? At ang kanila pong paglilingkod ay talagang napakalalim ng paglilingkod ng family po ni Elkana. Whenever the day came for Elkana to sacrifice, he would give portions of the meat to his wife Penina and to all her sons and daughters. Ito po yung second wife. Verse 5. But to Hannah he gave, can we read that part? Double portion. Because he loved her, and the Lord had closed her womb. Yung lalaki, okay lang po kasi nung panahon ng mag-asawa ng dalawa. 
tatlo hanggang lima hanggang kung ilan ang gusto nila. Panahon po nila yan. Baka po mamis interpret po natin. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, nung panahon nila yon. Okay. At sabi po ng Bible, naglilingkod sila sa Panginoon. So every time na yung lalaki ay maglilingkod sa Panginoon, dala niya yung kanyang dalawang asawa at ang kanilang mga anak. Anak niya doon sa isa. Hindi po kay Hana. Ano ang sabi ng Bible? So every time na matapos po yung paglilingkod, of course, nag-sprinkle ng blood or yung meat na naiwan, ibinibigay niya sa asawa niya at saka doon sa mga anak niya. Pero, yung pinakamagandang part o pinakamainam na part, ibinibigay niya kay Hana sapagkat mahal na mahal siya ng kanyang asawa. Pero, wala siyang anak. Bakit? Ang sabi po ng Bible, sinaraduhan ng Panginoon ang kanyang womb. Kapatid, gusto ko mong tumingin kasandali sa akin. Ang pag-aanak ng babae noong araw ay glory para sa kanila. Ang kawalan ng anak ay sumpa sa kanila. Sa madalit sabi, kahit naglilingkod sa Panginoon, ang family na ito, si Hana, naging barem. Walang bunga ang kanya pong pagkababae. All because the Lord had closed her womb. At alam niyo ho, kapatid, ang sabi po ng Bible, because the Lord, had, verse 6, uh, pwede po ba natin balik puntahan? Can we read it aloud? And because the Lord had closed her womb, her rival kept provoking her in order to irritate her. Dahil ang Diyos ang nagsara ng kanyang sinapupunan, meron namang asar na walang ginawa, kundi po ang asarin siya, sutilin siya, iprovoke siya. Hindi ko alam kung anong mukha nitong babae na ito. Alam niyo po yung sutil kasi, mukha palang sutil na, no? Paano kaya niya ito ginagawa sa babaeng ito? Now, can we read verse 7? Basahin nga po natin yung verse 7. This went on year after year. When Anna went up to the house of the Lord, her rival provoked her till she wept and would not eat. Maglingkod ka na nga lang sa Panginoon eh. Meron pang mga tao na gagawa ng kaparaanan para sirain ka, para mawala yung gana mo na maglingkod sa Panginoon. Can I hear amen? At alam niyo po mga kapatid, hanggang ngayon nangyayari yan. Hindi ko alam kung ano po sitwasyon niyo sa buhay. Marahil marami nagpe-pray ng promotion. Gusto ko magkaroon ng magandang trabaho para magkaroon ng magandang kita. Nagkaroon ng opportunity. Nag-submit ka ng papel. Lahat na yata na mga credentials ay meron ka. Sabi ni Mase, lumapit ka pa sa mga malalakas na tao pero walang nangyari. Marahil ang iba ay nagpray, gusto niyang mag-asawa. Ikaw na ang pinakapogi sa lahat ng manliligaw. Pero hindi ikaw ang pinili. Isinara ng Panginoon yung opportunity para sa iyo. Ilan sa atin ang napagsarahan na ng oportunidad? At paano po tayo how do we react sa mga bagay po na ito? And you know, brothers and sisters, today, before we close in prayer, hindi lahat ng mga panalangin mo ay matatanggap mo. Dahil may mga pagkakataon, kahit yung parang abot na abot mo na, ay hindi mo matatanggap sapagat Diyos mismo 
ang nagsarajan. Gusto mo magbago asawa mo? Mabuti naman yung prayer mo eh, di ba? But the more you pray na magbago yung asawa mo, the more na nagmumukha po siyang di mo maintindihan. We pray na maayos the family relationship, but the more na ang relationship na ito ay hindi po nagiging maganda. Bakit? Natanong na po ba natin? Hindi kaya merong proseso na ginagawa ang Panginoon. Mas prayed for a baby. Mabuti nilang hindi ibinigay nung panahon na siya ay maraming sama ng loob. Dahil ang hirap magkaanak na yung ipinaglihi mo sa sama ng loob, ipinanganak pa sa sama ng panahon. Tanungin mo nga yung katabi mo, sa palagay mo, may sinarado ba ang Panginoon para sa'yo? May bang nagtatanong, bakit hanggang ngayon, pastor? Nagde-desire naman ako magka-boyfriend, pero bakit wala pang dumarating? E eh, baka nga naman isinara ng Panginoon. But church, listen very carefully. Kaya isinara ng Panginoon yan sapagat hindi mo pa panahon. Dahil pag ibinigay ng Panginoon sa iyo ang bagay na yan, sa hindi tamang panahon ng Diyos, yan ay ikasisira mo. Ikapapahamak mo. Minsan nagpe-pray tayo, Lord, payamanin mo ako. Pero alam mo, hindi yan gagawin ng Diyos. Dahil alam niya, mayabang ka pa. Hindi pa tayo marunong mag-calculator. Bibigay niya sa iyo ngayon yan. Lulustayin mo lang ng ikasisira ng buhay mo at ng buhay ng iba. So it takes time to understand the very perfect will of God. Ano man ang mangyari, positive or negative in our life, ang Diyos ang meakda ng lahat. At wala ko tayo magagawa dyan, kundi po to realign ourselves doon sa perfect will ng ating pong Panginoon. Can I hear amen? Wait for it. At wag ko tayong mawala sa gitna ng kalooban ng Panginoon. At whatever time na tayo po ay inihanda na ng Panginoon at sa palagay po ng Panginoon, ready na po tayo, God will surely give it. At alam niyo ninyo, dadaan po tayo sa maraming mga pagsubok. Dadaan po tayo sa maraming testing. Natuwa po ako doon sa sabi ni, ni Mase. Naghahanap ang Diyos na maglilingkod sa Kanya. Someone na magamit po niya sa Kanyang kingdom. Ang daming anak nung isang asawa. Pero bakit hindi doon lumabas? Bakit hindi sila? O bakit hindi pumili ang Panginoon sa mga anak na iyan? Dahil merong sariling pangarap ang Diyos. Ang nakakatawa, nung ang anak na pinakaihintay isinuko sa Panginoon, ano ang sabi ng pare? Sabi ni Eli. Sabi po ni Eli. Nagpray ng anak si Hana nung ibinigay. Alam niya yung kalungkutan ng babae. And so the priest uttered the blessing. Magkaroon ka panawa ng maraming mga anak kapalit nung ibinigay mo sa Panginoon. Alam mo kapatid, Matuto ka lamang magbalik sa Diyos kung ano yung dapat na para sa Kanya. Hindi ka iiwan ng Panginoon. Ibabalik ng Diyos ng mas higit pa kaysa sa ating ibinigay sa Kanya. 
Today, my beloved brothers and sisters, ano man ang nangyayari sa buhay po natin. Marami tayong mga pangarap, mga magaganda at mabubuting mga pangarap. Pero higit na alam ng Diyos kung ano po yung nararapat. Maging yung mga bagay na nais nating ibigay, ibigay sa Diyos, minsan hindi po natin nagagawa. Sapagat siya mismo ang gumawa ng kaparaanan na hindi po mangyari. But still, we need to realign ourselves to God and His purpose. At kapag nagawa po natin yan, in His own timing, He will bless us with so much. Can I hear amen? Can we just close our eyes for a moment? Maging ang mga sakit karamdaman na meron po tayo ngayon, sometimes we do question God, Lord, why? Meron po siyang purpose. All of our troubles na nararanasan po natin ngayon, samantalang naglilingkod tayo sa Diyos, meron pong purpose ang Panginoon. Today, habang nakaupo ka ngayon dyan, think about His goodness. Imagine Hana, gaano kasakit para kay Hana. Naglingkod naman siya sa Panginoon. Pero bakit ang Panginoon pa ang nagsara ng kanyang sinapupunan? And He suffered not only for a day, but years after years. Because God has a better plan for her. At ang kanya pong paghihintay, hindi po nakalimutan ng Panginoon. Nakita ng Diyos si Hana. Ang lahat ng kanyang mga iyak, ang lahat ng kanyang kalungkutan, nakita ng Panginoon. Today, my brothers and sisters, ano man ang pinagdadaanan mo sa buhay ngayon, God is a purpose why even the very trouble that you are now encountering may dahilan ng Diyos kung bakit lahat ng mga conflicts na meron tayo ngayon merong sariling dahilan ng Panginoon and the only thing that we can do align yourself to God submit yourself to God And as we follow the Lord, as we align ourselves to God, know that God is God. Know that God is your Creator. Kaya niyang gumawa ng mga bagong bagay. Kaya niyang gumawa ng mga kamangamangang bagay. Kaya niyang gumawa ng times and season for you. Maging kayong lahat na nanonood ngayon sa inyo pong mga tahanan. Bago pa man tayo lumapit sa Diyos, He knows our hearts, He knows our lives. Submit yourself to God. Minsan hindi maging ang atin pong mga mahal sa buhay. They persecute us. They disown us. But God has a purpose. God has a purpose. Today, God is here. If you think, 
ikaw ay nalalayo na sa Panginoon, nagtatampo ka sa Diyos, o marahil nagkakaroon ka ngayon ng, ng crisis in your Christian life, this is the time lumapit po tayo sa Panginoon. God will remain to be God. Ang paglapit mo sa Panginoon sa araw po na ito at sabihin mo sa Kanya, how you feel o maging yung sitwasyon mo, God will come. He will surely listen to you. Shall we all rise now? Of whatever situation na meron po tayo ngayon, believe that God is God. Merong magagawa ang Panginoon sa sitwasyon mo ngayon. If you believe, if you believe, you will receive even your very answered prayer now. Into your hands, I commit again. With all I. sing it Jesus I believe in you Jesus I belong to you you're the reason that I live the reason that I see. oh Jesus I believe Jesus I
Come on, keep believing. Jesus, I believe in you. Jesus, I belong to you. You're the reason that I live. The reason that. Come on. Say it again. Jesus, I believe. I belong to you. You're the reason that I live, the reason that I sing with all I am. Before we close in prayer today, maybe some of you here pumunta ka rito ang bigat na bigat and you're questioning God, Lord, why? Bakit ganito yung sitwasyon ko? Ang sitwasyon ng aking family. And you're looking for an answer. Marami ka nang pinuntahan, marami ka nang kinausap. But still, wala kang natanggap na answer. But the more the nandun ho yung pain in our hearts. But today, if you believe, and you really want to align yourself sa perfect will ng Panginoon, hindi po issue ang panahon. Just align yourself with the very perfect will of God. Your answered prayer will surely come. If you believe. If you will align yourself to the very perfect will of God. Today, as we sing this song again, I want you to come forward. Ang paglapit mo sa harap sa araw po nito is a sign of that you are realigning yourself to the very perfect will of God. Katulad ng ginawa ni Hannah. And as you come forward, kung paano in-offer ni Hannah ang kanyang anak na bunga ng kanyang panalangin, honor God to the best that you can do. And God is telling you, hindi ka kakalimutan ng Panginoon. And I want you to sing this song with all of your heart, with faith. Into your hands I commit again with all I am Anyone nais mong tanggapin ngayon. The miracle of God, I want you to come forward, please. Just come forward. And I am yours. Just worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. And say it again into your hands, Lord. Into your hands. I commit again with all I am for you, Lord. You hold my word Jesus. in the palm of your hands, and I am yours forever. with all of your heart. Into your hands Sing it. I commit again with yes. all I yes. am yes. for you. You hold my word in the palm of your hands. And I 
want you to declare by faith now. Sing it. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe in you. Jesus, I belong to you. Come on, declare it. You're the reason that I believe. You're the reason that I sing. Oh, Jesus, I believe. I belong to you, and you're the reason that I live, the reason that I Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. And Jesus, I belong to you. You're the reason. Singing. The reason that I Jesus I believe Jesus I believe in you Jesus I belong to you You're the reason that I live The reason that I I stand before the Lord today. Start to realign yourself to God and even to His perfect will. Nakita ng Dios kahit yung mga panahon that you are so down and so lonely. narinig na ng Panginoon maging ang patak ng ating mga luha. Yes. Just say to Jesus. Just open your heart to the Lord now. Just open your heart to the Lord now. This is the only thing that we can do. God is faithful. God is faithful. God. Listen to your people, oh Lord. Yes. Son of God, why we live? You are the only reason, oh God. Why we sing? Jesus, isinaraman ng Panginoon ang lahat ng pintuan para sa iyo. But He has a purpose. For a moment, yes, he closed it. But if you will remain faithful to God, time will come. He will open that door. Time will come. Kapag ready na po ang lahat, he will open that door. Kung paano ang ginawa niya po kay Hana, yun ho ang gagawin sa atin. Just remain faithful. And He will give you even ten folds. If you believe, 
and he will give you even hundred folds if you believe. It is God. It is God. It is God. Now, can we sing it again? Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I belong to you. You're the reason that I live. The reason that I say it again. Jesus, I believe. Yes. Yes. Jesus, I. Jesus, I belong to you. You're the reason that I live, the reason that I see. Jesus, I believe in you. Jesus, I our hands as high as we can. Lord, we receive your very word today. How you blessed Hannah na kahit Panginoon ikaw na mismo ang gumawa 
ikaw na mismo ang dahilan kung bakit nagsara ang kanyang bahay bata. But because of her obedience to you, because of her faithfulness, kahit yung isinara mo, Panginoon, binuksan mo. And that you gave her, O God, even double because you are a faithful God. Lord, narinig mo ang panalangin ng iyong mga anak. Narinig mo, Panginoon, ang lahat ng kanila pong mga panalangin. Narinig mo, Panginoon, maging ang patak ng kanilang mga luha nung panahon na sila'y nalulungkot. But Lord, today, we're coming before you. Ano man ang nais mo, Panginoon, susunod kami. Ano man ang kalooban mo, Panginoon, susunod kami. But Lord, in this pastoral prayer, I pray, release that blessing now for your people. I pray, Lord, reopen even the gates, Panginoon, na, binuk, na, na isinara mo para sa kanila. For Lord, today, I believe it's receiving time so that we, your people, O oh God, ay makapanambahan sa iyo. And that Lord, whatever answer na meron po kaming matatanggap mula sa iyo, this is all for your glory. So I speak blessing for your people now. Touch your people, O oh God, wherever they are. Touch even those people watching online. Open the floodgates of heaven for them. Let there be healing, O oh God, in their sick body, soul, and spirit. And Lord, I pray that promotion ay pagkaloob mo po sa kanila. Favor and grace to be upon your people. And Lord, sa araw po nito, we thank you for you are God. Sa amin pong pag-uwi, samahan mo po kami at ingatan. Sa amin po, Panginoon, pagbabalik sa amin pong mga pamilya, make us a blessing so that Lord, me and my house, kami at ang aming mga pamilya, Panginoon, ay maglilingkod sa iyo para sa iyo pong kapurihan. Maraming salamat and I release blessing to be upon your people now. And God, may your Holy Spirit be upon us as we go home. To you we bring back all the praise, all the glory. In the name of Jesus, and everyone will shout and say, Amen. Amen. Jesus, I believe. God bless you all and see you on Sunday. Jesus, I